You know, as we get to the end of the 8th generation here in 2018, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty much wrapping up. The 8th generation, the PS4 and the PS4 Pro along with the Xbox One and X are pretty much at the end of their life cycles. Now, a lot of us have come into this generation expecting a lot. I know I was especially, but then a lot of us have left this generation now and we're pretty much going to PC. A lot of us are going to PC. A lot of people have turned their direction towards PC gaming. And uh, that's pretty uh, sad. I, I had no intention on coming into the, or this particular generation going or thinking, hmm, I'm going to go full PC at the end of the gen. I didn't really have that mindset. I really did not. But this generation has definitely pushed me in that direction. Now, this information right here is definitely good, but it's also funny at the same time. You see, at the start of this generation with the Xbox One, if I remember correctly, there was a certain group of people who called all Japanese, you know, developers, rice eaters, they were calling them all these retarded, you know, uh, racial slurs, right? They're saying they're all this, right? Every game that's on the PlayStation 4 is Jap crap. Well, how do you feel now that Japanese developers are working closely with Microsoft to develop the next-gen console? How do you feel about that? See, I look at that and go, hmm... Karma's a bitch, ain't it? Karma's a bitch. It just goes to show, man. It really does go to show how far Microsoft has fallen. How little guidance they have from their fans. Their fans push them into the most dumb corners I have ever seen. There's so many retarded corners the Xbox has been pushed into. So many dumb corners. From the DRM... You know, being pretty much uh, getting rid of, right, which is good. You pushed them in the right direction there. But now, all of a sudden, you guys are acceptable of it. With them bringing it back in many ways, you guys are accepting that. You guys are okay with digital-only titles and all that. You're okay with that. You're okay with this gaming company going full software in the long run by putting all their games on every single platform. You're okay with that. And this is the, the same company that brought you nothing but good memories with the 360. I swear to God, I remember when Sick Human was playing Alan Wake. I was sitting there going, damn, this is some good times. Good times. I love that game. I had a blast with Alan Wake. That was the game, bro. That was the game to help define Xbox. Where is that this generation? Hmm? Where is that? Where is your Quantum Break 2? Your legit Quantum Break 2? Oh, I know. It's on a PlayStation product now. But hey, you guys want to say, oh, Xbox is good, right? Xbox is fine, right? Xbox is in the best shape possible. They're nowhere near the best shape possible right now. Not even close. Not even close. They are a shell of themselves. And the numbers show. The numbers show. Every single week, this company drops to another low. For God's sakes, it, it, it wasn't even a month ago. We were just talking about how they had dolls. They're showing off dolls. American doll toys? But you guys want to sit here and argue with me and many others and, and attack those people and say that we're the bad guys when the reality is we've been telling you how this was going to go since day one. Since day one, we told you. And look at how bad reality has set in. Look how bad it is. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. There's so many morons on the internet that are rather hide behind the keyboard and act like trolls than actually play games. I don't see nobody talking about games from the Xbox show. Nobody. The real Xbox supporters are hyped for games. I see them hyped for games. And shout out to you. Yes, I see numerous real Xbox supporters talking about game after game after game after game that was shown at E3 this year. But not a single one of these keyboard warriors, you know what they're talking about? They're talking about a new console. A new console. They're talking about CPUs. They're talking about APUs. They're talking about damn RAM, GPUs. It's like, what are you doing? Have you, or have you or have you not already seen that another Project Scorpio or another Project codename was already released this generation? It was called the Xbox One X, aka Project Scorpio. 
This is the same mentality that destroyed the Xbox One X. When you overhype something and you show that you have no knowledge of what you're talking about and you mislead the masses, this is how you have a console that fails immediately. There's too many people out here that don't know anything. These dudes don't know a CPU from a GPU. These dudes don't know a teraflop from a damn flip-flop. They don't know what they're talking about. But yet these dudes will sit here and podcast. They will sit here and spread propaganda. And they will lie to you straight to your face. And some of you will eat this up. You will act like these dudes are industry insiders. None of these dudes know what they're talking about. I guarantee you, if I would have gave this fool, any of these fools, my PC right now, as is, all broken up, and I told them to put it together, they couldn't put it together. I promise you. I promise you they couldn't put it together. They would have to look on YouTube, try to look for a guide. I swear to God, that is how bad this community is. That's how stupid some people are in this community. It never ceases to amaze me how dumb the level of retardation that people go, the lengths that they go to try and push this pathetic console war. This is what killed the Xbox One X. This is what killed... Damn near, well, damn near killed the damn, uh, fucking, uh, the, or actually, they killed the Wii U. People didn't know nothing about the Wii U. They're overhyping that. That killed the Wii U. They people overhyped that damn thing. There was nothing. People had so many excuses for the Wii U. It's like so many people have so many excuses for the Xbox One X. There's too many excuses. You are a gamer. You're not a company man. Unless you're under the payroll. If you're under Xbox payroll, if you're under PlayStation's payroll, then of course, hey, defend that. Hey, make that money. But if you are not under their payroll. You have no reason, no obligation. It should not be your right, or it shouldn't really should be your problem to sit there and damage control for their problems. If a company like Nintendo is sitting here releasing cardboard instead of proper voice chat, you should not be damage controlling that. You should not be sitting here making videos saying, oh, this is because they need to go for money. No, no, that's pathetic. When, a grow <laughs> when another company like Microsoft is releasing American doll toys, you should not be damage controlling that. You should be looking at the company like, what are you doing? What's next? If Sony releases Legos? Is, is Sony going to release Legos? Are you going to damage control that for, for Sony? No. I'm not. <laughs> this generation is so backwards, people. It's so backwards. So backwards. Nobody wants to go forward. They want to take one step forward and take 40 steps back. 40 steps back. Every time we have a small victory, we go right back into enemy grounds as if we have any ammunition, as if we have anything to fight that war. You got nothing. Stop. You need exclusives. You need first party talent. Yes, Microsoft has bought four studios, two of which we've already seen games from and have all pretty much have, have kind of always been exclusive to, to Microsoft in a way. They haven't really been on any other platform aside from PC, but still. They kind of were already with Microsoft for quite some time before they started moving their games to PC. So two of those games, or two of those developers, you already see what they got. But everything else, it's like, okay, we got to wait and see what they got from them. But still, the point stands. The point does stand. Who cares at the end of the day? Do you really care about another Xbox right now or a PS5 right now? I'm pretty sure a lot of you are looking and waiting for September. Because you know what drops in September, don't you? September drops one of the most anticipated games this generation. That's Spider-Man. In February, you have Days Gone. And in 2019, you probably have Ghost Tsushima. You probably have The Last of Us. What exactly is people hyped up for a new console for? If you're really this hyped for new hardware, it's time for you to put your full attention towards PC gaming. I know some of you might go, it's too expensive. Hey, you don't have to buy it all in one go. You can buy it piece by piece. Have it stocked away and get ready and put it together when everything's there. There you go, problem solved. And you know what's funny about that? One of these morons that likes to damage control on the internet, hit me up on Twitter. He said he does not know anything about PC gaming, right? In my comments, he doesn't know much about PC gaming. And uh, I'm just a hater and whatnot. But then proceeds to send me a link towards Linus Tech Tips. Linus Tech Tips about PC versus console. And he sent it to me twice. And he spared the same message. Can you stop with your hate? Uh, I'm sorry, but did you, did you or did you not say you don't know anything about PC gaming? Did you or did you not say you don't know anything about PC? So why are you sending me dumb messages like this? 
Oh yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't answer that. Benched that fast. He got benched that fast. It was ridiculous. So many apologists. This generation will forever be known as the generation of apologists. Every single time there was a problem, you always got that grown man, that that middle-aged man that comes out of left field and damage controls for every single problem in that category. It doesn't matter. Lack of games? Oh, well, um, that's not your problem. You don't own that console, right? Lack of voice chat? Well, I mean, you got a, I mean, you, you got a voice chat app. I mean, I mean, it's not required, but still, Nintendo's their own company, right? 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 Lack of third-party deals? Well, I mean, we don't, we don't buy these consoles for, for we don't buy these consoles for third-party deals. We buy them for uh, uh, the Superior Multiplats. We buy them for the exclusives. Okay. No exclusives? Little to no exclusives? Oh, well, you know what? No, it's all about the third-party games. We got the better-looking third-party games. You throw in PC, the equation. Well, I mean, technically, we have the best console multiplayer. You see what I'm saying? It's stupid. Every single time, you get the same type of reaction. Always a what if. Always a, well, I got to throw this in here to, to counter that. It's stupid. It's always a filter on every single argument, every single defense. It never stops. Never. And that's the stupidity of the internet. That's the stupidity. That's the pure stupidity of the internet. Never cease to amaze. Never. So uh, that's where I stand on this, man. The new Xbox being developed by Japanese developers. Hey, I'm for it. I'm for any developer taking the helms of Microsoft's console at this point because Microsoft doesn't know what to do with the Xbox brand. They don't know what to do with the console. Hell, I'd be surprised if this console launched with a DVD drive. I'd be surprised. Microsoft does not know what to do with the Xbox because they have fans, hardcore morons that claim they're fans, but they're not fans. They're apologists and extremists who really think they're fans and who really think they're doing something well for Microsoft by over hyping this bullshit these dudes are not helping this console so these dudes right here have pretty much doomed this console already there is nothing to be hyped for but hey as soon as we see a rising ship oh i gotta jump out my seat i gotta throw my keyboard in here they beat my pc let me tell you something I'll tell you right now my pc as is completely trumps anything on the playstation 4 pro the xbox one x and i'm pretty damn sure the PS5 and the new Xbox ain't touching the experience that I got right here on my my rig right now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty damn sure. And they do, listen to me, if they do trump my, uh, my experience, you know what I have to do? Do I have to change my processor? Nope. All I have to do is change the GPU and watch how quickly that quote unquote difference disappears. It ain't hard, people. It's not hard to get into PC gaming. It's not hard. And there are no excuses for you to sit there and damage the show and say, well, I don't need PC gaming. You're right. You don't need PC gaming if you want to sit there. But, excuse me, you don't need PC gaming if you don't want PC gaming. But if you're going to sit there and hype up hardware specifications 24-7, hype up CPUs and RAMs and new gigahertz, right? It's time for you to be in that particular field. That's what you want to be. You want to talk about that all day? Why don't you just become a tech channel? Talk about the latest GPUs and CPUs. There you go. I'm giving you ideas for channels here, people. Why don't you become a tech channel? Oh, wait, I forgot. You're not a tech person. You don't know what you're talking about. Hey, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the video. Yes, I've been away, but hey, I'm back. You already know what to do if you liked the video. If you did not, hey, you know what to do there. Ryan the Professional is out. Deuces. Oh, Christ. Fuck it.